going to do an air brake. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is take our, secure our vehicle. We're going to put our chalk in because we're on a downgrade, so we're going to put it in front of the vehicle. Okay, we have our two tanks here. This is our primary tank, our secondary tank. Always do your readings by your primary tank, this one here. It's done in 25s, that's 50, that's 100. The one right up in the middle there, that's 75. Okay, each time you do a step, which is above the door here, you have to read each step out and what you're gonna do. So now we've secured our vehicle, we're gonna start our engine. and we're gonna do low air warning. So you're gonna go by your primary tank here. You're gonna fan the brakes down until the low air warning comes on steady. You always have to give why your vehicle is good, why it's defective. So you're gonna pump the brake down. Okay, as soon as it shuts off, that's where it comes on steady. Okay, so low air warning came on at 75, which is good. If it was below 55, defective. Okay, now we're going to do build up time. My RPMs here are between 600 and 900. I'm going to bring my needle down to 80, and I'm going to time it from 85 to 100. So you're going to fan your brakes down to 80. And then when it reaches 85, time it from 85 to 100. How many seconds? Okay, build up time from 85 to 100 took 16 seconds, which is good. It would be defective if it took longer than two minutes. Okay, now we're going to do air governor settings. Governor cut out. So we're just going to wait until this needle stops moving and you hear that big noise. Okay, so governor cut out at 125, which is good. If it was over 135, defective. Now we're going to do governor cut in. It's going to be one push on that brake right to the floor until this needle stops moving. Once it stops moving, you're going to take your foot off. And once it moves up, that's where your cut in is. So one push right to the floor. Needle stop moving. Take your foot off. So governor cut in at 110, which is good. If it was below 80, defective. Now we're going to do air loss rate. Engine off. Spring brake off, push it in. Then you're going to step on the brake right to the floor and you're going to make sure that your pressure is over 90. Then you're going to time it for one minute. Minutes gone by, spring brake on. Air loss rate is good, the needle did not move. If it lost more than 3 psi in one minute, it would be defective. Now we're going to test our spring brake. Make sure it's pulled out. Since we have our chalk in front, we're going to do it in reverse. So start your engine. Put it in reverse. Step on the gas. Back into neutral. Spring brake is good. The vehicle did not move. If the vehicle moved, spring brake would be defective. Now we're going to go outside, turn your engine off. We're going to go drain our tanks. Okay, now we're going to be draining our tanks. You always start with the wet one, secondary, primary tanks. Okay, so we've drained our tanks. Okay, so I drained my wet secondary primary tanks. The valves move freely. 
There's no excessive moisture, oil, sludge. A good way to remember that is moss, but you have to say the words. It would be defective if the valves did not move freely and there was excessive moisture, oil, sludge. Okay, after draining of the tanks, we're gonna do the brake adjustment. So we have to come inside to set up the vehicle. First thing you're gonna do is take your spring brake off, push it in. Then you're gonna check your air pressure. Air pressure has to be between 90 and 100. Okay, I like 100 for your first measurement because if you put it at 100, once you put your board on for your second measurement, it's not gonna go below 90. So I'm gonna fan my brakes down until it's 100. Then you're gonna tell the examiner my air pressure is between 90 and 100. Then we're gonna go outside and do our first measurement. We're gonna identify the size of the chamber first, then we're gonna take our first measurement. Okay, we're gonna identify the size of the chamber first, and then we'll take our first measurement. Okay, on this chamber, it's right on the side of the chamber, right near the port. It's engraved 20 standard. And the reason we know it's a 20 standard is because our port right here is round, it's not square. If it was square, then it would be a long. So we're going to take our tape measure, we're going to put it against the chamber and to the end of the clevis pin there. And that is three and one eighth inches. Okay. So now we identify the size of this chamber, you know it's bigger. It's on the bottom of the span that's going around, right down here. It's a 30 standard because our ports are round, not square. You're going to do the same thing. You're going to put it against the chamber to the end of this clevis pin here. And that's three and an eighth, too. Okay, now we want our push rod to come out to take our second measurement. So we have our board here. We're going to put it on the service brake. You're going to take the pointy end here. You're going to put it halfway on your brake. Then you're going to use your foot, push, one push, and put it under the steering wheel. Now you're going to say my air pressure is still between 90 and 100. It's very important that you have your pressure between 90 and 100. Okay, now we're going to do our second measurement. You can see right here where the push rod has come out because we've extended the service brake. So you're going to put it against the chamber again to the end of the clevis pin, and that's four and one quarter. Okay, so you're gonna take your first number, which was three and an eighth, you're gonna minus four and a quarter, which is gonna give you one inch and one eighth for our front. Okay, now we're gonna do our second measurement. At the back, you can see how our push rod has come out here. So we're gonna put it against the chamber again to the end of this clevis pin here. And that is four and a half. So four and a half minus three and one eighth gives you one and three eighths. Okay, now we're gonna get our chart out. Always identify the size of your chamber. So ours is a 20 standard, none. The adjustment limit is one and three quarters. Ours was an inch and an eighth, so we're good. If it was over an inch and three quarters, it would be defective. Our back is a 30 standard. Our adjustment limit is two inches. Ours was an inch and three eighths, so we're good. If it was over two inches, it would be defective. Number nine up here, if there's any defects on your vehicle, you're gonna report it to the owner do not drive it because it is prohibited by law. Once you say number nine, then you may take your board off the brake. So put your foot back on, take it off, put your spring brake back on. Always secure your vehicle. 